What's up, guys? Guess who it is? Hey, do you want the talking in the background? They're just in there, just talking away. You'll be able to. I'll talk a little bit louder so you guys can hear me. But um, this is my uh, Smith and West Falcon Magnum video two. I had one before this, but I had to do this real quick. The new cylinder, because the old cylinder was like this, and I just want. I was. I was gonna use this for that, but see how this one's all squishy. This one. It's just hollow, but. It's not like squishy because I got cardboard on this side and well first let me get started with the sights. Oh, well I, I'm going to take this side and got to make another update video. I'm going to put like a little circle piece right here make this flatter, more flat and make it like a circle piece and hot glue that when I get some hot glue because I'm going to start making my stuff out of foam board, poster board instead of paper. I'm still going to use paper but not a lot. Um, there's the sights. I'm going to use my black shirt so you can see it. Here's the hammer. This is actually hinged on with the little toothpick I got. It's like the toothpick is pulled. See? And it's held by the toothpick. So it can just do this all day. I just like it like that. It looks cool. And I put that on it so... Because... The newer ones have like grips right here, and then it's really easier to do it like that. But it just annoying a little bit on this gun. Trigger does the same thing. I did the same thing with the hinge. And uh, yeah, I already did this right here because they have space in it. You saw in the video. There was the old one, and the, there's the old cylinder. The trigger I was gonna put on here before I did this hinge. I didn't have a trigger before. And I, wait, I had to wait for a couple days to find me some more cardboard so I can make this handle. So everything below this line right here. Yeah. So I just put it on a piece of paper. And I just drew the top of this. I put it against a piece of paper. I drew, I traced on the edge of this. And then I just made my own design of a, you know, handle or whatever. But it, it is a little big. But because I try to make it a full scale Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum looks pretty good my other one was just the shape was better way better I don't know what happened to it it was a good one the handle was full cardboard like layer it took me more this whole process waiting and redoing all this to hit right now on the 18th I started so it took me it's like 22nd so 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, I actually started before that. So I started like, let's see. I don't know when I started. I think like 17th or 16th or something like that. So yeah, it's about six days, you know, close to a week to make the whole thing go. I'm still adding on to it because when I get my hot glue gun, I'm cutting all this off. And I'm hot gluing it to the thing, so it's pretty sturdy right now, really. See? It's because I'm pushing on too hard, but look. Moving with the whole gun, that's good. It's, that means it's pretty sturdy. And the cylinder. Um, I had a mechanism where you just roll out and it stops right there. But, uh, yeah, you know. And you can see the trigger in there, see? That tells you that's all the mechanism it really is. Here's a cylinder. I just added that at the end for, I don't know. Um, those look like they're actually shot out. But I was going to like cut into them and cut them out with the scissors. But I stopped after the first one. And then if I put um, this all in it first right here. But that was too, it's like paper. It's literally, literally paper thin. It's paper. So it didn't stay good. So I had to put this cardboard piece on there. It's sort of like a drum, you know. Top and bottom are pretty solid, and I had to cut on the line so it fit a little bit. It would be a little bit smaller than the outside of this. And I had to trace this medicine bottle. It has pills in it. I take it for my dentist when I go to the dentist, because you know, if you know why. Look in the description if you don't know why. But um, yeah. So um, I mean. If I make another one and I have wood and a jigsaw and stuff like that, yeah, I'll make a, um, a gun like this, like a replica that, like, 
really cool. Oh, I'll put it in the wrong way. Whoops. Um, there we go. And I had to cut the tape off some of it a little bit, you know. Just, I was after I got tired before I, before I, um, switched to this one instead of this one, which was today, yesterday, I was gonna, I was thinking about just, you know, cutting right here, cutting all right there, so I could just go like this, maybe have a little latch or something, and push it, and the whole thing just drops, and, um, this will have a cylinder right here, but it would be separate from this, because I don't, I don't like, I mean, if it's, if it, I don't know if it's me, but I don't like having one thing to connect to the other, but the shotguns that I make, um, the pump, uh, like the pump part, I, I put a piece of strap of paper on the side of it, so on the ins so when I put it on, it's on the inside of the gun, and then I just put like a piece and like fold it over, sort of like a, like if I had a piece like this, maybe well, well, make it a little bit smaller. I would use something like this, and then kind of bend it so it stay in shape, like this shape, so it'll go on the side of the gun. And take that to the side of the strap, so when I pull on the pump, it closes the hole, so it looks more realistic. Next time I make a shotgun, I make it on the bottom of it, where you put the shells in, I'm putting a flap on there. That's going to um, retract back with paper with a paper mechanism, which doesn't seem possible, but it is. And, uh, yeah, I've noticed something about one of my videos. Uh, that uh, basketball video where I shot, I was, I was um, like, the backward shot or whatever like this and then it made it a goal 23 seconds that's the number of Michael Jordan and it has to do with basketball Michael Jordan was a basketball player things there's a movie about him watch it um yeah the sights hammer up and everything else I was, I'm just now touching up on it um see this is like cut and retaped and stuff this is the design of, I was gonna put like a the new grip designs that I like the fully wood revolvers. Yeah. Uh, my favorite gun is a Colt 1911, just because they were in World War II. It just means more to me because it was in World War II, and uh, I had family in World War II. My mom's dad, or I think, yeah, I think. So uh, my mom's side of the family is uh, people in war. So. You know, the Colt 1911 means a little bit to me. That's why I'm making this. This is my next project. Um, wait until I get four more posts aboard. Then, I have a video on this. I'm going to put it up. Just to begin it out with. Okay? Just to begin with this gun. That's going to be the beginning. Um, I never mentioned that I was going to do po four more posts aboard with that. But, I will. Alright guys, let me know what you thought about this freaking thing. It's so cool. You know, you know. Let me know what your favorite part of the gun is. Um, if you don't like the gun, let me know. If you like the gun, let me know. Any other suggestions for any other future guns for another video? I'll certainly do it for you guys. Subscribe.